Good afternoon everyone and today's topic is antifungal drugs. So the, uh, the, there are several kingdoms of the, of the living organism. So uh, as you can remember from your botany class, the uh, all living organisms are divided to three domains bacteria, archaea, and eukarya and then uh, eukarya is further divided to four kingdoms and uh, bacteria has only one kingdom and archaea also only one kingdom. So we uh, will now switch to the uh, uh, Fungi, that is one of the uh, kingdoms, one of the six kingdoms of the Eukarya, that is different from the bacteria. So the antibiotics are mostly prescribed for the bacterial diseases, that is in the different domain and also in the different kingdom. So and now we are moving to the different domain, that is Eukarya. Uh, and also a different thing than that is fungi. Uh, okay, so the cell wall is different. So the fungi is divided to uh, two uh, types. We have yeast and mold. So the yeast uh, originally uh, have been used for the baking. Uh, instead of the baking soda so uh, that makes the uh, bread uh, soft and fluffy and the molds uh, mold, uh, originally have been used by uh, French to make a French cheese with a blue mold uh, that is not very popular around the world but is very popular in France and considered uh, a delicious one. And there are also some dimorphic uh, fungi that uh, can have both characteristics. So, for the yeast, uh, most commonly uh, seen um, um, yeast that will lead to the disease is the Candida species. Candida species is a uh, uh, semi pathogenic, it's a normal microflora for the some tissues like the uh, vagina and pneumocystis gyrovensi is uh, uh, mostly the pathogenic and uh, will lead to the uh, other diseases of the lung mostly pneumonia in HIV patients. So then for the moles we have aspergillus and mucormycosis. Uh, so and that will lead usually lead to the dermatomycosis. Okay, so these are the most commonly seen types of the fungi that will lead to the disease of so the pathogenic fungi or semi pathogenic like in case of the Candida albicans, for example, and other species. So the uh, let's look at this uh, fungi cell. Uh, so fungal cell is a uh, has a specific uh, membrane. So plasma membrane is covered by the hitin and also has a, a monoproteins. So this Hitin is a very rigid uh, chemistry and uh, will protect the fungi from most of the uh, antibiotics and also the physical strength if the physical strength is so that is that is why uh, the specific uh, antimicrobial drugs are required for the fungal uh, diseases. 
So the first group of the drugs is the inhibitors of the ergosterol synthesis um, and this is most commonly used drugs uh, because the fungi will use an ergosterol instead of the phospholipids uh, in uh, most animal cells so for the uh, for the structural purposes and the uh, ergosterol synthesis is inhibited by the azole group so the azole group includes clotrimazole, gluconazole, ketoconazole, itraconazole, miconazole and boriconazole the latest one uh, but most commonly drug used drug is fluconazole fluconazole has an additional a fluorated uh, residue that gives uh, larger activity comparing to the clotrimazole that is the prototype of this in this drug group. Then we also have allyl amines that uh, inhibits covalent uh, by uh, uh, me metabolism by inhibiting covalent oxidase that is uh, terbinafine and uh, naphtidine. Uh, sorry, naphtifene and uh, butanafine. So these drugs are less commonly used but still are equally effective to the azole derivatives, including fluconazole and clotrimazole. So also we have a uh, griseofulvine that inhibits the myototic tubulus formation, and uh, this way. Um, inhibits the division of the fungi cell and also uh, uh, fluoxetazine that is converted to the pyfluorouracil and inhibits the purine uh, synthesis uh, and division of the cell as well. Then the next group is the amphetericin B uh, and nystatin. Uh, this, uh, uh, this will remove the calcium from the cell that leads to the death. Uh, drugs are very toxic. And uh, also we have uh, echinacandines. Uh, these are the anidula fungin, caspo fungin and mica fungin. So these uh, drugs are inhibitors of the uh, beta one cyclicane synthase enzyme that is required for the synthesis of the plasma membrane uh, and mostly used for the treatment of the candida and aspergillus uh, uh, families. So uh, these are the drugs, anti fungi drugs. Uh, most of the drugs are very toxic, including risefulvin. Uh, that is why it's used only for the and also amphetericin B uh, has a toxicity to the kidneys. And nystatin commonly uh, has a uh, will lead to the uh, will. Uh, so nystatin is also can be seen some adverse effects. So the uh, so these are the so most of them are less uh, selective for the human cells than the antibiotics, and that is why uh, there are many adverse effects. Uh, and the ad administration is usually depends on the disease. And we can divide all the uh, fungi diseases to systemic uh, and cutaneous. So, systemic uh, this, uh, disease require administration of the systemic antifungi drugs that usually includes the uh, azole derivatives, like fluconazole is commonly used, or uh, echinocandines. Uh, that is the mm, most uh, the latest group with less adverse effects 
and also amphotericin B that is inhibiting ergosterol uh, and glucytosine that is anti-metabolite also can be used for the systemic treatment but amphotericin B is a very toxic uh, and also injectable only uh, that is why the administration can be only in uh, uh, hospital then for the cutaneous uh, uh, fungi diseases we use squalen epoxidase inhibitors that is the benefin uh, mostly the griseofulvin uh, is very toxic uh, less commonly used nystatin mostly used in OTC products like uh, shampoos uh, and imidazoles uh, can be used as well including clotrimazole, ketoconazole and meconazole and some other like uh, cyclopyrox and tolnaftate also can be used for the cutaneous disease uh, most commonly the, these are used in the form of the ointments uh, the cream ointments uh, or uh, in latest uh, in recent years uh, uh, gels also uh, so if we look at the mechanism of the amphotericin B uh, and its interaction with the ergosterol in the fungi cell uh, that is amphotericin B it will uh, 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 it will lead to the uh, increase in the pore that uh, will leak the uh, ions from the cell uh, and that will lead to the death of the cell. So that is pore formation uh, and visceral um, by the apatricin B. Then uh, the uh, pharmacokinetics is only intravenous or also can be used topical as well uh, and does not penetrate to the central nervous system it needs via, via bile and also some appear in the urine after long period adverse effects include fever, chills kidney failure, hypertension, and anemia with a long treatment. Uh, then uh, fluconazole, most commonly used drug is fluconazole, inhibiting the metabolism of the ergosterol, that is ergosterol is produced from the lanosterol, and that decreases the membrane integrity, and that is it will be more permeable for the uh, ions and uh, leads to the death. Most of the uh, most of the uh, drugs will also influence the activity of the liver enzymes. So by decreasing the activity, that can increase concentration of the drugs that are metabolized in the liver. That includes porphyrin. Editing, uh, cyclosporin, and triazolam. Uh, so uh, the doses should be adjusted for those drugs. Then the squalene epoxidase inhibitor will uh, inhibit the squalene epoxidase that will synthesize uh, ergosterol, and instead of the synthesizing ergosterol, the squalene will. Uh, uh, produce a toxic products that lead to the death of the cell uh, and uh, the decrease in the ergosterol synthesis will lead also to the death of the cell uh, so the terbinafin and other ascolene epoxidases can be given orally these are systemic antifungi and excreted by the urine the grisofulvin will disrupt the mitotic cycle, mitotic tubules uh, that prevents the, uh, the look, uh, disposition of the chromosomes in the center during the division, so that will disrupt the, the, the division.
Okay, I think that is all for today. Thank you for your attention and see you next week. Bye bye.